Hi everyone, in this video, we are going to use Power Automate to move files from one folder to another. Also, we will set up this flow to create a new folder in the case that the folder we want to move the file to does not exist. Let's get started. So I'm building an automated cloud flow. And the trigger that I want is when a file is created properties only. So I have that selected and I will click, click create. Let's set up our trigger. So we need to choose our site address and our library name. Now, if you click advanced parameters, you click show all, you can select a specific folder. But for this case, I'm just going to use the library, the entire library name, because I have nothing in here other than these uh, new, other, other than the new, files that are coming in, right? But if you needed to set this up, what you would do is put a, a forward slash and then type in the name of your folder that is within your library. So now that this is set up, you can see here that this is my test documents library in SharePoint. Within here, I have this file, excuse me, this folder called directory. And that's where I'm going to be moving files into so the files are coming into the test documents library. They'll appear right underneath this folder here. And the file that's coming in here is being triggered by a different Power Automate flow. And the, so the file names are always the same. And the name of the file is going to be this here. So it's always going to be new underscore file underscore. And then today's date in this format. And everything is separated by an underscore. So we have 09 meaning September and this 12 is the day and 2024 is the year. And then we have an underscore at the end even. So everything is separated by underscore because we're going to be extracting the month and the year digits based on a split expression split by the underscores. So keep that in mind because what we're going to do next is set up our move file, our move file action. So we search for move file. It's a SharePoint connector action. And then we select our site address again. And then for file to move, it says file identifier. So we use the dynamic content and search identifier. And it's going to be the identifier from the dynamic content of the trigger. And then select your destination site address, whatever you want that to be. And then your destination folder. So as, as I was showing you, my destination folder is going to be the test documents library. And then within there, there's the folder called directory. So we do that. And then we have to select an option for if another file is already there. So I'm just going to do this move with a new name, retain everything. Now I'm going to rename this action to move file into the existing folder. Now there's one more thing I need to do. This destination folder is not set up entirely correct because I'm going to be creating folders within the directory folder and the folders are going to be by year. Right now there are no folders within, within here. So we're going to need to set up this flow to create the folder. If the folder doesn't exist, the directory of folder, the folder names within here are going to be month underscore year. So the two digit month underscore and the four digit year. And we're going to extract that from the file name. We first need to set a compose action for the month and then a compose action for the year. So we're going to call this compose month. And then we need to put in our expression here. And the expression I have in the description of the video down below. So I'm just pasting it in here, but I want to just show you that again, this is the split expression. So it's splitting the file name, which again, looks like this and it's splitting by the underscore. And you can see the two at the end means a line two of the array that's re returned by. So if we, so if we look at the file name, new, it, it's going to be split right across the, each underscore. So new is going to be in position zero 
and then file is position one and then zero and nine is position two. So that's where, why we have that too, because that's going to extract the 09. So the outputs of this compose month is going to be zero nine, which indicates the month. So we're going to add that one in and then add another action, another compose. And this one's going to be for year. So we do to year and then we do another expression this expression is going to be the same exact expression, only we change the 2 into a 4 because the year is in the fourth position, 2024. And then we have the underscore to separate the file name. If you don't have the underscore in there, it's going to, of course, add 2024 and then your file type. So that's why we have another underscore at the end. Okay, and then we click Add. Now we have our compose. So down here, our destination folder, within the directory folder, we're going to do a forward slash and then insert dynamic content. And the directory folder is going to be called month. And then we do underscore. And then we grab the outputs of the compose year. And then just be very careful because Power Automate has a tendency to remove your forward slashes after you've added them. So now this is set up. Now, what happens right now if we run this flow, it's going to fail because no such folder exists within my directory folder. It's, there is no folders in here. So what we need to do is a run after action. So we need to create that folder. So we're going to, to create folder library name and then we do our folder path so our folder path is going to be forward slash directory forward slash and here's where we put the dynamic content in first for the month underscore and then for the year, make sure that you still have the forward slash in there. So that looks good. Now we need to configure run after. So click on the settings tab of this action. And then down where it says run after, you can see the previous action here, the move file action. And then we unselect is successful and we select has failed. Well, click has failed first and then uncheck is successful because one of these has to be checked you can't have it empty okay so create new folder i'm going to rename this so it's new month and then after this we need our move file action so we do move file and this one is going to be into new folder select your site address select your file to move so that's the file identifier of the trigger so we search identifier Create when a file is created, so identifier. Select your destination site address, your destination folder. Directory. And then once again, forward slash, insert dynamic contact. Month underscore dynamic content year make sure your forward slash is in there that looks good so it's going to run after it creates a new folder then it will move that file into that new folder and then make sure to select your if another file is already there move with a new name all right let's save we're going to test this by creating a file in our test documents library using this file name. So what I'll do is I'll just do an Excel workbook. So click on new Excel workbook. And then once that opens in a new tab, you'll click the file name and rename it. Hit enter. Let's close this. Close please. And then if we just refresh here, you'll see that new file is there. 
Let's go back here. Let's back out. And then we'll refresh here. Succeeded. Let's go back over here. And if we refresh here, that file will be gone. Click into our directory and we see that this folder has been created, September 2024. And if we click in here, there is our file. All right, everyone, that's going to do it for this video. Thanks for watching. And as always, we will see you in the next video. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.